Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fall Hunters. This is episode number number three here, and I do I have done some uh, in between episode grinding. Now, as you can see, I haven't I haven't touched a single vault just because I do want to keep that on video, if not do streams for that, which will be happening soon. I'm pretty sure. But I have done some progression here. So starting off, I have gotten bamboo. Oh, that Enderman is going is going crazy. But uh, I, I did go ahead and find myself bam some bamboo. I had to travel some 2,600 blocks in this direction to get to the... Not, not that direction, sorry. This direction. In order to get to the jungle, uh, the uh, bamboo jungle. Now, I needed bamboo for multiple reasons. I've been, I have set up a system here to make uh, the bamboo um, extra drops. I forgot the name of them. Uh, into uh, bone meal. I have been connecting this farm here and there. Also went to the nether farm, went to the fort to get myself some nether ward. I set up a pumpkin and melon farm that way and a sugarcane farm here. Still with the same processes of sending everything downwards. Now we come down here, you're going to see that I've actually expanded this in this multiple directions. So over here to our left, I haven't really decided how much further to go on this side. But I do have here the um, cocoa farm. So I've been farming this up little by little. I've also been farming... The, uh, these guys and make, making them grow over here we finished i finished one uh when i had in the the um blacksmith area i really like the way it came out i didn't figure out what to do for the roof in this section i might just go ahead and continue on what i have uh the design i have over there but i do i do want to separate this in a way uh, i do have this being the um i forget the, the is it chest you can make out of the scaffolding that you can just change into whatever you want with these frames, uh, with block carpentry, carpentry, and you can make this a uh, frame chest. So I do have chests here for different things. I'm holding some, most of my emeralds here, so I can do enchantments on gear. I do have here. I'm. I don't plan to keep keep stuff here to craft gear. I have my recycler and I have my artisan station, which also has some chests here. I don't have anything to put in here yet. On this side, I have the jewel, uh, the tools uh, station, but also have jewels on these chests. I want to separate them as they come, but I still need to get more jewels, right? Also made a um, or a dripstone farm. Since I do know these take so long to farm up, uh, like for them to grow by themselves, I am keeping it here. Um, this this is what I what I farmed up when I went to go look for it, which was somewhere, uh, the cave is somewhere here. I think the entrance, I think that's like the entrance right there for the dripstone cave. It was very deadly, a very deadly uh, right, right there. And then next up, let's see. I'm going to have to go free cam on this one. I did make myself a cactus farm. It is a two slices of 20 here. So it's a four by five on two different levels. And I do believe I have quite a bit there. So it would go all the way down here. Yeah, we already had three stacks worth of cactus, and that started with only three cactuses. So you guys can, can tell how long that's been. I also, uh, like I said, I did I did some grinding. I also made a iron farm underground. I like making my iron farms underground just because I don't need to look at them, and they just produce by themselves. And I lost a zombie. Yeah, I'm not sure what I've been doing there, what's been happening, but I lost a zombie there. He just he's just gone. Go into free cam, you should be able to see it right here. Uh, I will go ahead and post the link of the design that I have here. Um, I did expand on it. The the original design only has one row here of villagers. Uh, I went ahead and and uh, increased this to be a four width for the hoppers, and then put another set of villagers. So this produced a good quantity of um of uh, iron. I also added right there bamboo spikes. Oh wait, maybe that's what killed them. I think he, I think he jumped into the bamboo spikes. I forgot to cover that up. Oh, that's gonna be a pain to replace. But yeah, this, this is here how it works. Um, right. So the zombies go ahead and scare the villagers, and they spawn on top. Now I did have to um spawn proof a lot of this area, so I, I did put like a lot of. What do you? Oh, I don't have it. There we go. Slabs. Yeah, so there's a lot of slab place all over the place, so they don't spawn in those little in those little holes, and they just go in there. Uh, the bamboo spikes with the lava make them that uh, take one more damage instead of just being the lava alone. 
At least I think that's what I what I saw. I might have been wrong, and you probably don't even need the bamboo spikes. But the bamboo spikes don't burn, and I didn't I didn't really get any nether wood to make the gates, the nether gates for that. But so far with this, we already have quite a bit of iron. As you can see, I already had to convert almost to two stacks of iron blocks. Not counting the number of hoppers I already had to make, I already made. That's pretty much all I've done in the middle of episodes. Now I did uh, want to go, go ahead and show you guys. I did reroll some armor pieces. So boot wise. I used to have, I was running these other boots, where are they? Right here with three armor, but now I, I went ahead and re mine, the other set. So I have one less um, point of heart, which is half a heart less. I do have one more armor, but I do have more item uh, item rarity. And a little bit less item quantity, but it, the combination of it will give you more loot. Also, when I, get, I went ahead and got this um, magnet, uh, I re it and it has bigger range, more velocity, and item rarity. So I will be swapping into that once I go into into dun into raids right now in um, dungeons, and then I went ahead and swapped that from this sword, which I did like this because it, because it had the chain um chain attack, but comparing it to this uh common sword which I was able to reroll at level zero, it had more in innate damage as well as the extra do damage soul chance, and shocking hit chance, uh but the the main reason was because it just has higher DPS um higher base damage. And the base damage will make it so the Majavan can actually kill them uh, one shot. Let's go ahead and get into the vaults. So I do want to continue going here. I do want to get probably uh, to using a knowledge. Because I did recently use all of my knowledge. So I do need to go ahead and find... I, I might need to find more Banyo type. But I do need to get more knowledge essence for sure. While getting those materials, I decided to go ahead and make myself a... a what, what is that? Like a Paxel. So it has, four, it has Pixing, Shoveling, Axing, and more durability in there. So I'll still touch. This will make me clear out three spaces of inventory, which would be these three, right? So that's way more durability. So that's 4,000 plus 700 compared to a regular old netherite pickaxe, which is at uh, like 2,000 cap max, so 1,700. So it should last longer and I shouldn't be worrying about anything like that. So that being there, I did make myself an extra uh, pouch in here. This is one where I'm gonna keep all the ores. I'm I'm still working on it because I haven't found all the ores myself yet, as you can see. But as we continue there, uh, we'll be go ahead and find more. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this crystal. And I'm just gonna go, go ahead and do it like I've been doing and cutting a short, um, doing like little, like the highlights of what I find. And let's hopefully we'll, we get to level ten afterwards. After this, okay, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh no, I forgot to change my... Oh no, uh... Oh, yes, it's in here. I forgot to swap up my elytra, guys. That's a little scary. Oh, living, hell yeah. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Alrighty, so that's not too terrible. Uh, go ahead and put some stuff away, right? Um, so let's see how how we did on there. On that vault, twelve thousand XP. Let's go. One hundred twenty-two chest loot, one hundred twenty-five mobs killed. That includes the elite at four fourteen hundred. So I still did pretty good there. Oh, that's amazing. And we're level ten. Perfect. We're going to complete that. We got a completion. We claim that one as well.
Alrighty, so let's go ahead and before we open everything up, let's go ahead and review our objectives. We completed that and giving it to Seal of the Sage. That's going to be Elixir Volts. I believe next is going to be Craft the, the, the Elixir Volt. So we're going to go ahead and craft ourselves another crystal. Let's see, give me one second to go ahead and complete this. So I'm going to get that crafted up and apply the, the Elixir uh, Seal to it. Voila, complete, which then gives us two more blank seals. All right, let me go ahead and put the blank seals together. Put the bottom here. Next is God Altar. So it's completed God Altar. So this will be another run inside the vault. I won't be covering that in this video since I don't know how to make another 40 minute long video. I might go ahead and stream this on Tuesday though. I'm not sure if I'll be able to edit it and get this posted by then. But let's go ahead and look at what we actually looted. So we got it an Axing Jewel for 25 space. Uh, I don't think I can put that here in 16. Got ourselves uh, two more Kiwis, some mystery boxes. Um, we have an Axis of Vault Stone, because I do believe I do have... Oh, I forgot these guys. So we got some uh, some ores in there. We did go above on Vault Stone. That's pretty good to hear. Let me go ahead and... Bring down these numbers. So right here. All right. So looking at the stuff we got, uh, I think I forgot to get rid of those sticks. Uh, we did get quite a bit of things. We got a lot of chromatic iron. Now that we really need it. We got 16, 16 uh, magic silk. Um, hopefully this is enough for what I want to do right now. Uh, which will be making more of the filters. We did get a, about a stack and some more of vault dust. A good amount of carbon. Some driftwood. Some essence. We did get a level 9 axe. Now that I use axes. But let's just get that rolling. Got some ores, an android ingot, some gold copper, vault stake, just one wild focus, kiwis, and a chip jewel. Um, jewel. Got quite a bit of vault stone, which is pretty good. That's gonna keep us a uh, pretty ahead in the future. Uh, this axe is pretty meh. Either way, I'm not an axe person. Uh, let's see here. We should have. Did I not pick any of them up? Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot I have them over here. Okay, so I forgot about this other bag. Okay. Let's go ahead and reorganize here. Let's see. So we did get a good amount of research. We got nine vault diamonds, fifty-one knowledge essence. That's pretty good, right there. Wonder if I can. Yeah, that's another knowledge star right there. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and drop these other things off. So that goes in there. I am trying to keep everything organized as best as I possibly can. Because this will become a pain in the future, and I do not want to deal with that. Okay, vault stone goes in here. Patty stuff over here. That will go there. Three rolling arms on there. I should bring that with me. All right, so we, what we got here is just going to be the same old, same old. No relic pack 
No relics from there. Okay. Drop our money, our armor, our plating. See right here, plating goes in here. Emeralds in this one. Money on this one. Pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, let's see here. What else? Some Laramar. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here for these two. Ooh, mm, okay. Okay, not bad. I'm just gonna reroll that from the very beginning. We got an undefined helmet and undefined shield. So let's go ahead and get those rerolled. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two seals in here for the future use. The helmet, we rolled it coming in the helmet. It's a three armor, which I think is less than our current one. Yeah, that's pretty less. And then right here we have we're looking to meet, so it's a common, so it's better than my current shield in that aspect. Does have shield, um, health. Oh, that's actually more thorns damage. Same thorns chance, same block damage, uh, block chance. More durability, more health. Oh yeah, no, that wins. That's a new, that's a new one. Go ahead and put this in here. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and scrap that piece right there. All right, now let's go ahead and see the jewels we got here. That's a, that's too big of an ornate. 34 pulverizing, item quantity, that's a little too big. Oh, that's a little too big for copious as well. That's okay, I guess. Go ahead and bring these two pieces to scrap them up as well. Ooh, item rarity factual focus, sweet. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and run this elixir vault just to end it off. Uh, just so go, just so we can actually see what it is. I haven't kind of uh, general knowledge of what it is, but I haven't actually ever run one. So pretty much there's going to be an elixir bar as we're going to go ahead and load up right now. That should be up here on the very top of the screen. Ooh, bonus ornate, sweet. Uh, oh, I like this ominous, ominous green, green hue that we have here. But uh, so pretty much uh, that elixir bar is going to go, is going to increase depending on how much we loot and kill. And everything has a different value. It always changes every single time. So ornates don't have that much, unfortunately, by the looks of it. They don't offer that many uh, points. I'll go ahead and need to mark out this exit. Uh, let's go ahead and go up there. Man, these guys are strong. Once we have that bar full, we do need to look for these things here. This would be the uh, our exits, our exit loadstones. Waiting on that to finish and giving out. Oh, what is this? 25 mana. And look, we completed that already. Then it was, it was black market, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Ooh, ores have a lot. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, right, right, right. We got the trap ones now. We, we have a chance of getting trap chest. All right, but anyways, the bar is going full already really quickly. There's no need to panic there. Oh, it seems like Vault Fighters drop a lot by themselves. You can see the particle effects. That's just showing how much is dropping. You need to go pick it up. So that's pretty cool on that on that aspect. Vault Fighters do drop a good amount. Okay.
Oh, I forgot to make the pickup upgrade that I was gonna make. Dang it. Alright, I think I cleared out this room. I almost got all the elixir bar filled up. So that's pretty good right there. Sweet. Now, I do know the higher level you become, that elixir bar becomes a lot harder to fill up. But so right now, we're just gonna be focusing on looting. That's all that matters. See if we find another exit little uh, tome, or however it's called. Alright, one minute remaining. We're just gonna go ahead and click that load stone. Complete. Complete. Now, I don't think I looted too much in this one. Um, there's a lot of ore sites, and the ore sites like, only had like one actual ore, if any. Let's go. Still 11,000 XP. Not bad, not bad. Uh, 114 mobs on the live. 49 ores. Uh, you see a lot of ore sites on this one. 71 looted. Still 11,000 XP with no, um, no mini boss. We hit number 11. Let's go ahead and put this stuff down here. Alright, so opening these two up first this time around. Oh, I forgot to turn off my magnet. Dang it. So we got... That's a huge one uh these two are kind of okay jewel size keep those there got a lemon sweet some unidentified gear let's let's go ahead and roll it all right what do you get here a rare sword hey boy Right, reverse sword. This actually has way more damage than mine, so this is definitely gonna swap it out. And to add that prefix in there as well, it also has the attack range, which is gonna be pretty, pretty nice there. So that's definitely a keeper. Chest plate is a total of six armor. Uh, it is a scrappy though, the same as my current chest plate. Uh, just six armor, but mine does have mana and item rarity, so mine still wins for now. Now, here, uh I think I'll just keep mine just because it has mine has health and this is a scrappy one. So let's go ahead and put this on a possible to keep there. And this is gonna go ahead and get scrapped. That's gonna stay. Alright. Or wise, because we did get a lot of ores. We had 29 Laramar, 12 Benyotite. Sweet. So we can definitely get it um be ready for another another star right now. Well not right now, whenever we get to it. We got wooded at ore, alexandrite ore, xenium ore, and black opal. So that's some pretty good amount of ores there. Where they almost a stack of dharma ore. 19 benyotite ore. That's pretty sweet right there. Now you're looking at the other one where they got a lot more of these ore things. So let me throw that back in there. I did take some 10 diamonds in there. Let's see here. I'm gonna remove all of the vanilla junk first. We got a little bit more magic silk because we do need a quite quite a bit of that actually. That's pretty good on us for us. I'm gonna remove these things from here to give the space. Am I getting there on the sugar shells? This is actually gonna go to the gold one. All right, over here, burger stuff out first, as well as that and that. So I only got twenty four uh, standard essence here, and this, it won't be good enough for the third one. But uh, let's go ahead and drop these things off. This as well. Alrighty, so just opening these guys up because we know it has nothing on them. Ooh, two relics. Let's see what we got. Got another piece for the uh, warrior set. Sweet. And the other piece is for the Nazar. That's a new piece for us right there. Pretty good, pretty good. We got some vault diamonds, vault meat, so a little bit of nuggets from here and there. Let's see here. 
Oh yeah, I got a lot of vault stone because of how many or how many sites we got there. We almost have a double chest full of vault stone. That's pretty good. I love that. I love to see it. Well, me, we'll leave that for later. All right, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, I'm able to get this out on Monday. So I can go ahead and stream it on Tuesday uh, morning because I work in the afternoon. But I uh, 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 hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, catch you guys on the next. Actually, no, I, that's a lie. That's a lie. We need to go ahead and complete these quests as far as we can. So next is interact with the black market, which is here. Complete. Because I, already, I had already done that before. And knowledge. Uh, craft a knowledge star. So I do believe I will be needing to... Ooh. Didn't notice that I was going to get that. But let's see how our luck goes here. So we do have a lot of Beniotite. Uh, as we have more than enough that even if this drops only one per, it's still going to be good. But right now we do have Fortune 5. So we have the two levels of fortune from this from the expertise as well as the three levels of fortune from the enchantment so let's go ahead and see how many we actually get here with fortune five from about 16 we got we got a lot of stack that's more than enough sweet so just gonna go ahead and do that there we go we have the extraordinary one enough for about three more three more non stars that's pretty good uh next up is gonna be the vault diamonds now that is not gonna be able to keep up with everything that i want so i'm gonna go ahead and craft these up i'm gonna make the core itself and then the star there we go star crafted now i'm gonna keep i'm gonna go ahead and save that because i do want to go ahead and get a combo of stuff um, actually, I might might just get Colossal Chest right off the bat, but it's going to be Colossal Chest, one point, then Drawers, as well as Refined Storage. And for power, we're going to use Iron Generators. Uh, on the very beginning, we're not going to be using too much power, so the Iron Generator is going to be more than enough to uh, get us through. So, Iron Generators. Uh... Yeah, so let's see, did they fix this yet? No, so I can just craft the Stone Generator and then go ahead and do a Diamond one. Won't be too expensive, so I should be able to do, go ahead and do that. Now that will be the goal, uh, the next goal I have here for either streaming or or the video. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I catch you on the next one. Peace.